Well, now here at 5 o'clock, talk about a close call for a truck driver in Littleton. He says he just jumped out of the truck to check on a traffic backup when a train crashed through the back of his trailer. WBZ's Christina Hager's live in Littleton. Christina, this intersection is a notorious trouble spot. Yeah, Lisa, people who live and work here say this is an ongoing problem at this four way stop, particularly when trucks approach uh, that crossing and they get just far enough so they can look around the corner and then they find out it's blocked by traffic and they just can't get past those tracks. The precarious job of moving an 18 wheeler from the middle of a busy intersection after a commuter rail train hit the back of it. I'll come here to pick up a load to um, go back to Mississippi. I dropped off at East Tower. Eddie Barry was behind the wheel when he approached this crossing gate, trying to take a right hand turn. Suddenly he got stuck behind a traffic jam. It was a traffic block, you know. Traffic? I was, yeah, I was turning going that way. So a lot of trucks bagged up. I couldn't make it off the track. He left it running and jumped out to see what was causing the backup. That's when he heard the train coming. And then the bell, and then the crash. Like one of them old, uh, firecracker. Pow! No one was hurt. Passengers on the Fitchburg line were transferred to another train, and locals dealing with a blocked off road for much of the day say what's frustrating is this isn't the first time. This was another truck hit here in 2022. The trucks end up backing up all the way down over the crossing down to Route 2A. Postal clerk Tim Welton works across the street and says he often sees trucks stuck on the tracks behind traffic backups here. It's going to be a real serious issue at some point in the future. Now the trains are running, but you can see crews are working on repairs. A spokesperson for Keola says the crossing gates were working properly. We also asked if there are any sensors on the tracks that would let operators know if there's even a, a, a vehicle that's even partially on the tracks. We did not get a response to that question. Live in Littleton, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.